Hey everybody, vocal coach Mary Z back here once again here for Voice Hacks. Today we are going to take a look at a killer vocalist. We're going to look at Dylan Walker from the band Full of Hell. Their new record just came out and so I am helping out one of my friends over at Banger TV. A lot of you guys subscribe to their channel. Uh, Brad Z just did a an awesome review of the new Full of Hell record. And Brad had mentioned to me that one of his top three favorite vocalists is Dylan from Full of Hell. So we, I had to take a look and see what's going on here. Um, this is gonna be a very interesting video on extreme vocals and a total analysis of his harsh vocals. We're gonna take a look at what he's doing in a minute here. But thank you all for helping me reach the milestone of 50,000 subscribers on the Voice Hacks channel. I can't thank you all enough. Thank you so much. You guys have have appreciated the information that I've been able to put out there and that's the most important part to put some really interesting accurate and available singing information and screaming information I'm not really sure why a lot of vocal coaches and even vocalists withhold information um, I call that like carrot dangling where they entice you with some information but they actually don't literally describe the technique or tell you exactly what's happening so You've reinforced my belief that giving people re real information is the best route to go. So today, we're going to get real with some Full of Hell. Dylan's vocals, I'm actually not entirely sure if he's a fry, fry screamer or an inhale screamer. We're going to take a look here. But for those of you that follow my channel, you know that I'm pretty against, I have a pretty strong opinion against inhale screaming. Um, and I find that most folks complain of bleeding and other types of hemorrhage vascular sort of injuries related to the suction pulling on the vocal folds they're really not designed or meant for us to use with a suction like a sucking in so i'm going to approach today as though he's a fry screamer because that's what it sounds like to me but i want to also mention that in a fully produced production, it's really hard to tell what a vocalist is doing sometimes. So I've got the studio recordings just like anybody else uh, off the new record, but I don't have any isolated vocal tracks. I can't really tell all the way what's going on, but I'm going to tell you what I think is most likely going on based on logic, uh, the way certain sounds and phonations work. And we're going to talk about the goods and the bads of the fries and also another thing called voice with distortion. We're going to start with a song called Thundering Hammers. They had a load of guest vocalists, amazing guest vocalists as well on this record. Um, and this is a song where we can pretty much just hear Dylan. This was a pretty big single for them. So this is a pretty good one to check out where we're clear about the problem with the ones with the guest vocalists was I wasn't really sure who was doing what. They're really similar in style. So I wanted to take a look at a song at where we're pretty sure that this is Dylan, the main vocalist. Let's take a look at why Brad over at Banger TV put him in his top three favorite vocalists. Let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, so let's stop there for a second because I want to talk a little bit about what I'm hearing in this first section. And I hear a lot of voice with distortion in some places where we're singing or shouting uh, normally underneath, not literally shouting, not literally slamming the vocal folds together. It's essentially sort of like belting with distortion on top. So we hear a lot of ah! like these kind of pitched things going on with the voice a little bit. But then we hear when he goes really high, it really turns into what I would say is a pretty obvious fry scream. <laughs> So it sounds like when he goes into those extreme highs, then it switches from voice to like harmonic overtones where we're getting like fry screaming in there. If this is new to you and you're completely lost and you're you're new to the channel and you're like, what the heck is a fry scream? What What is the vocal cords closed? Um, maybe you're not 
that into the voice science nerdery, but if you are, go on my videos and watch my video that I have on the channel, on the Voice Hacks channel, about the different types of distortion. That will explain the different sounds I'm talking about, kind of the phonation mechanics of what's happening in this person's voice to make that possible, and why they can do it without hurting themselves if they're doing it correctly. Now let's take a look at a little bit more of the song and let's talk about what is going on next. of all there is to it there it's a short song and what we see though is that dylan has like a, a lot of flexibility in his vocals so he goes from voice with distortion into fry screams a lot there's a lot of layering on this particular record um i'm not really sure exactly what the isolated vocals would sound like because that would definitely give us a much clearer idea of what he's doing where but this is kind of what i'm perceiving is that where there's more pitch, it's a bit more of a shout with distortion, and where it's more overtones, it's our full fry scream. And again, if you're more confused on what those are, watch some of my other videos that'll fill in the gaps for you. If you want to learn to do these things, you know, some folks can naturally do them and, and actually can do them correctly. And, it, and it's just because just like any physical ability or athletic endeavor, there it will always be a very small percentage of people that can just figure this out. I tried to look up interviews with Dylan, but I didn't find a lot of information as to whether or not he's figured these vocals out naturally or what, what he even calls his own vocal technique. There was more details about his musical insights, his lyrics and things like that. So if anybody speaks to him, you could ask him what his style is, what he thinks he's doing, uh, if he's a fry screamer. Um, that's what it sounds like to me. But many, many times we can't do these things on our own. And this is why I have a job, why I've been a vocal coach for over a decade and why I teach people every week on Skype. So if you're interested in reaching out to me for lessons or anything, email me at voicehacks at gmail.com for rates and scheduling. And always don't just attempt these things, folks. I have playlists to guide you through things slowly. Don't do anything that hurts. Don't do anything that causes hoarseness, pain, or strain. You should always, always stop anything that hurts. And and don't take any vocal coach's advice over a, a medical professional. You know, we're not exactly medical professionals and you shouldn't take the the advice of a vocal instructor or a vocal coach over a physician, okay? Thanks to Brad and Banger TV for collaborating with me on these Full of Hell videos. It was great to take a look at one of Brad's top favorite vocalists here on their new record. So I hope everybody enjoys it. And I hope that we can take a look at more of Dylan's awesome vocals in the years to come. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.